my name's Ben L. I run Tura Lift Operations and de-icing. On a typical de-icing day, the crew will get up here at about 6.30 in the morning. We'll make an assessment based on what we've had overnight, what lifts we're going to open for the day, uh, what the snow conditions are like, and we'll make a plan on how we're going to attack the ice situation for the day. We'll then hop outside, jump on the back of a groomer, and go to the top of the lift that we're going to work on first. If it's an open day, typically we'll start at the top of the lowest lift and get that ready for access. From there, we'll work our way up and open lifts as we go. The de-icers are equipped with a couple of tools. One is the Yeti stick and the other the mallet, uh, both used for different things. Uh, the Yeti stick has been around since the beginning of time, since they very first started the icing up here, and it is still one of the most effective weapons against ice that we have. The mallet is a recent introduction to our arsenal. Uh, it's a heavy hitter. So there's a number of challenges with de-icing. Every day is different. A common challenge that we have, especially during the first half of the season, is the refreezing mist, which comes through as we're de-icing. It'll coat not only the de-icers in a layer of ice, but it'll leave the towers with ice on it, even once they've finished cleaning it up. The refreeze is difficult for us to manage because any stops on the chiller can leave us with stuck wheels again and we have to restart the process. We are constantly researching ways to combat ice with heating and other methods, but at the end of the day, the most effective tool is still manual labor, getting up there with people in harnesses and smashing the ice with a stick or a mallet. On the Skywalker at Whakapapa, we have some state-of-the-art de-icing systems and here's Max from Lightner to tell you more about that. Right now the Skywalker is running in de-icing mode, so the cable is constantly turning as the de-icing system at the return sprays the cable with glycol to prevent ice buildup. In combination with the hydrophobic paint on the towers, this helps to ensure that we can keep the gondola moving regardless of the weather here at Whakapapa. So once de-icing has been completed on a lift line, we then get the chairs spinning around at full speed. We have a number of checks we have to go through and make sure that everything is safe to operate. We then check in with other departments such as ski patrol and grooming and make sure that they have the runs safe for us to open the chair. And then we let you at it. We hope this video can help you understand behind the scenes of de-icing at Mount Ruapehu. Thank you.